What is going on guys, Brandon here. Today I'm just going to be showing you um, a little glitch in Warzone. Um, I don't know if many people know about it, but it has been in for like the last few days. Um, I have been taking a massive advantage to it. Um, so there is a way of when you spawn into the first like 50 seconds of a lobby, um, you can drop your original like weapon that you're using in that lobby. Um, and then go back to the same spot when into the proper game and then pick that gun up. So we're going to get into that. Roll the intro. Before we get into this weird glitch on how to get uh, the weapon off of spawn, I'm just going to quickly show you some of the classes I've been uh, running. I have messed about with quite a few classes. Um, we have been going with what's been buffed on the on like in total. Uh, so first gun, I don't really run this as much. Um, I'm sticking to like the top four guns, so I'm just going to show you them. I'm going to show you all the classes. Um, if you would like to see like the other classes, let me know in the comments. Uh, but we have got the Galil. So the Galil, I have been using a monolithic suppressor, uh, the XRK Zodiac S440. Um, the stock, we have the CR56XO. Uh, rear grip, we have the stippled wrap. Uh, and then the Merc 4 grip. Um, we are running that with overkill with a MP5, which has monolithic suppressor, FSS close quarters stock. We have a Commando 4 grip, 45 round mags, and stipple grip tape. So that MP5 is what I run on all my classes. I'd never change the attachments on that class. It will always be the same attachments on an MP5. Um, but as you can see here, Car 98K, um, it's had a massive buff. Uh, it's had ADS speed. I think that's been increased. Um, and the damage over range um, has been increased on the car. So uh, I kind of stopped using like the HDR as much and started running the car. Um, it's a lot quicker ADS than a uh, like a sniper and actually still does pretty good damage uh, So obviously same as the other MP5 uh, Same attachments, but on the car we are running a monolithic suppressor. We have the Singard arms custom uh, 27.6 we have tack laser uh, We have the sniper scope and if you can get the sniper scope get this um, This reticle here. That's the best one still haven't unlocked it yet uh, but I'm currently running this one if you haven't unlocked it. Um, we then have, if I can get back onto it, we then have the stipple grip tape. So as you can see, accuracy increased, uh, range increased, slight mobility drop, and slight control drop, but still an amazing weapon. Uh, running that with uh, the C4 and a stun grenade. Um, that, we don't use that. We use a scar now and then, not as much, so I'm not really going to show that. Uh, the next one is the M4A1. I have the 1776 variant, which is the... Um, like the 4th of July one. They have just dropped another one. Um, this one, Thunderclap. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into the attachments. Monolithic Suppressor, the Corvus Custom Marksman Barrel, uh, Ranger Foregrip, 60 round mags, and Stippled Grip Tape. Uh, I actually, I love the like the camo on this gun like as it comes. Um, really nice camo. I'm loving the red clip as well. Uh, same again with the MP5. Uh, then the Bruin is absolutely unreal. Um, this is one gun I want to focus whole video around because the Bruin is absolutely amazing. Um, it's like something compared to like what the Grau used to be. I think it is really good. It's closest to what you're going to get. Uh, but I still think the Grau is unreal. Uh, we've got the Monolithic Suppressor, the XRK Summit, 26.8 uh, barrel. We have the TAC Laser, uh, the VLK3 Optic, 60 round mags. If you want to take this off and put Commando Foregrip on, um, you feel free to do that. It depends how you feel on iron sights on the Bruin. Uh, they're not that bad to be fair So that's that with the mp5 again um, Another one on perks if you're running overkill. I have double time and amped um, Amp just it just makes you swap weapons quicker um, And then the foul the foul. I don't know what the fouls just had a massive buff um, I think it's got like potential of uh, one shot to the head downs um, but we're running the monolithic suppressor, the XRK marksman, GI mini reflex, commando foregrip, and 30 round mags. I used to run, um, I didn't used to have a commando foregrip on, I used to have uh, the three burst, but that wasn't as good, so I stuck to uh, just, just tapping it. If you can tap it, you can get a lot more bullets out rather than when the burst. Same again with the MP5, and then the ground, the HDR. Same as a previous video, um, everything's same. So yeah, we're gonna get into the like the the main part of the video. I'm gonna show you how to drop your weapon um, off of spawn and then go to that location and pick it up. 
Uh, we're going to cut to that now. Let's go. So, how this works is when you spawn in with a weapon, um, as you'll see now, the Uzi, if you want to drop the Uzi, you can always just kill yourself and uh, try and spawn on a better weapon. Um, so, if you don't want the Uzi, uh, you can die, get a random weapon again. I'm going to try and land somewhere where the bus is going. Um, I'm going to land somewhere in a bit of a random spot. Uh, just to try and get my load out well to try and get the gun and show you how it works So you first off you want to find a good gun um, Off the of spawn because this lobby actually spawns some of the worst guns ever um, So you want to find somewhere good to drop. I think I'm gonna drop I'm gonna drop my weapon here or down here somewhere um, Let's drop it near this yellow house so you've got to be really really quick if you're a PC player It'll be a bit easier for you if you're not you got to hold down on the D-pad, push right, and then X. So that weapon will drop. Um, we then have to find that place on the map. Um, so it's somewhere around here. So I dropped my weapon. Uh, where was it now? This is the hardest bit, to be fair, guys, trying to find out where you've dropped the gun. Uh, I think it was here. So we're going to try and drop there to show you how this works. So is it that much of a fly? It's a little bit of a fly, so it should be a bit quieter um, hopefully fingers crossed uh, but yeah this, sh this should be a custom Uzi um, on the channel someone's just subscribed to the channel let me just turn the alert box off for the YouTube channel um, and chat box so that was just for streaming um, I've turned that off now so we're gonna try and land on this to show you how it works we're gonna hope I'm sure it's that one there that I've marked in fact it could be the back one I'm going to try and get over there. But I do think it's that one there. Uh, we're going to try and get over there. Yeah, yes, definitely. Definitely this one. I can I can tell with the, with the landing. You can't really mark it either when you're in the pre-game lobby. Um, just because when you like get in the plane, it'll just disappear, your mark. So we landed down here, and I dropped it to the right-hand side of the building. So we're going to try and get down the right hand side of the building. And as you can see guys, the Uzi custom SMG, the one that we had, is on the floor. Uh, quick pick up for you. Um, easy little uh, glitch. So as you can see, yeah, you, you've definitely got the weapon. Um, it has ammo. Same gun is in the uh, official like pre-game lobby. Um, there's no cheating about it. It's just dropping a weapon. I don't think this is going to be in the game for much longer. Because a lot of people are doing it on like um, packed areas and then getting a really good gun. Um, so then they, they've, they've got a slight advantage straight away um, in the game. We're going to try and get a kill with this weapon. See if we can get a kill. Um, it is actually a pretty good weapon to drop as well, the Uzi. Uh, the Uzi is a pretty underrated gun. And I don't think anyone even landed here, to be fair, to try and get a kill. But... I, I don't I don't know whether it's like a glitch or I don't know how it's happened um, but or whether anyone's actually even ever tried it before to try and drop the weapon uh, but it come around like a few days ago um I seen one on the floor like a custom SMG off a of spawn um, and then I seen some like youtubers on about it like you can drop the weapon um, and I was talking to some of the people I play with and they had no clue about it uh, so we thought we'd uh, have a look into it and easy it's actually pretty easily done you can i think drop both weapons um it might be a little bit harder you might have to be quicker i know quite a lot of people on the pc uh they can just tab and drop it really quick compared to if you're on controller so we're going to try and push someone with this weapon um if you're landing somewhere like superstar and you're dropping one of these weapons uh you, you've got massive advantage straight away on anyone at superstar because quite a lot of people drop there with no weapons someone has landed here one might be on the roof. I'll try and push up. If we die, we die. It's just... It's not a bad weapon, to be fair, though, this. We'll try and push down here. There is a most wanted on the roof. We'll try and kill this most wanted. Don't know if it's going to be possible, because he's always going to have... Whether he's got a good gun or not, that is another question. We'll try and kill him. Doesn't seem to be. 
Uh, so I have a check in the heartbeat. Has he glided? I think he's glided down here. And he's gone. Uh, I'm not gonna hit him with this. <laughs> what a shot. Honestly, I'm so glad I got that on record. What a shot with the car. Honestly, the car 98k, is, it's unreal. We really, really need to try this class out. So we've got the most wanted. He's dead. But yeah, it, it is a nice little trick in Warzone. Um, and if you want to try it out, all, literally all you have to do is when you're in a lobby, choose somewhere you want to land. Um, find a good spot, drop your weapon. So hold down on your D-pad if you're on controller. Uh, switch to the left quick and then press X to drop the weapon or whatever you have on the uh, drop weapon uh, Drop that weapon on the floor um, You should see when you've dropped it. It should come out and your fist should be there or whatever secondary uh, Go to the location that you've dropped the weapon and pick it up and then there you go You've got a slight advantage on everyone in the game um, I don't know. I don't know how it can be a cheat. I don't know It's just a little advantage that it gives you at the start of a game um, until you get a load out because then as soon as you get a load out, you're going to drop it. But yeah, hopefully this has helped you and you are going to try it. If you do try it and it helps, please let me know in the comments what weapon you dropped and if it worked for your first time. Um, stay safe, guys. Please subscribe to the channel and like this video. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.